Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fat Boy for ShaveNation.com. Welcome to episode 27 of Geo Fat Boy's Everyday Shave. Today's razor review is the Mercur 20B. It's made in Solingen, Germany. It's anodized black aluminum with chrome accents at the top and bottom. We'll start at the top. Gleaming chrome head. Then there's a chrome bulb right here that starts thin, flares out, and gets thin again. And then you have a smooth band up at the top, and then a pretty precise checkered knurling running down this anodized handle, and then another smooth black band at the bottom, and then looks like about exactly the same, maybe a tad thinner bulb at the bottom, and then the very bottom of the razor has the Mercure logo laser inscribed, as you can see right there. So that's pretty cool. A lot of the razors don't have that. This razor, for some reason, not super popular, but I took it out of the box and I'm feeling it and it feels really good in the hand. The handle's a little bit thinner, but it still feels great. It's long enough to drop right in the palm and this knurling is very pre precise, very checkered. Makes the razor pretty easy to grip. So I'll perform a shave with this razor today. It is a three-piece razor, so let's disassemble it. Separate the top cap and the safety bar. There's a look. The razor comes with one Mercure test blade. It used to be this one made in Germany, but it no longer is. It is now one Mercure test blade made in the Czech Republic. So that's what I'm going to shave with today because that's what they're coming with now. So let's try it and see how it works. Here's the blade itself, Mercure Super Platinum Blade. It used to say Super Platinum Germany, but it just says Mercure Super Platinum. And on the back of this paper, it says, do not wipe the blades, just rinse, keep out of reach of children, extremely sharp. All true. Agreed. Two layers of paper. Let's remove them. Take the blade out. It had four dabs of glue, as you can see, on one side. Nothing on the other side. And even the blade reads a little bit differently. It says, rust for a stainless, made in CZ, where it used to say made in Germany. I'm not sure if you can make that out. I'll show you the side without the glue, but mm, maybe right there you might be able to catch it. Made in CZ. All right, so let's pop that right over the top cap, the threaded post and the two pins, reinstall the safety bar and the handle. Lock it down, check the reveal. Perfect on both sides. You can see that right there even on both sides. As far as overhang, just a smidge, like a sixteenth of an inch, one or two millimeters overhang, right there and right there. Nothing to be concerned about. The shaving cream I'll use today is Lia Classic Shaving Cream. This is made in Spain, Espanol. On one side it's in Spanish, on the other side it's in English. I'll squirt a little bit into my Shave Nation bowl using the red bowl today. These come in many different colors. Black, red, blue, white, pink, yellow, green. I'll use the red today. I'm going to fill up that lather spot, but first warm it under the hot water. The bowl is ceramic, so it will retain some heat. Remove the cap on this, Leah. I've never used this shaving cream before, so let's see how it works out. Squirt a little bit down into the bottom there. Fill up that lather spot, just like that. The brush I'm using is the Trafalgar T3. There's a T3. T2, T1, a little bit smaller. T3 is the largest synthetic sovereign bristles made by Simpsons. Let's warm it up under the hot water. Shake out a little bit of the water because it's synthetic. We'll go right in here, see if we can mix a lather. <laughs> Somebody commented last one of my previous videos about the face I make when I lather up, when I generate lather in the bowl. So. Hmm, it's got a kind of a little smoky, kind of a little smoky scent I'm getting. Maybe that's just me. But the lather's coming up around the edges. It's a little sudsy right now, but I'll keep swirling and it's thickening up. It smells nice. There you go. Plenty of lather for a couple passes. I'm sure if I go even more, I'll generate some more lather just by pressing those tips down into the lather spot. You can see, there you go. The bowl is filled. I've got 
enough for two or three passes, no problem. I'll warm up my face, we'll get right to the shave. Nice and warm. All right, let's lather up. There we go, beautiful. Start on the right side, work our way across. Nice, thick, dense knot on this Trafalgar synthetic brush. Feels soft on the skin. It's got a good uh, loft. It's not real floppy. Whoops, man down. RK, man down. I know he won't miss it. Figure eight, smooth everything out. Set the brush down. Swipe the lip, neck. Clear the runway so we can see our sideburns. All right, here we go. I'm gonna leave my fingers wet. This is very easy to grip. Drops right in the palm, as you can see. Let me give you the specs on this razor. This razor weighs in at 2.2 ounces or 60 grams. Overall length from top to bottom is 4.25 inches or 109 millimeters. Let's warm it up under the hot water. Here we go, I had two or three day beard growth, not one or two this time, so let's see how it performs. Hopefully pretty aggressive, because I had a decent amount of beard growth. Yeah. Very nice, taking it off without a problem. It's filled up, flip it over. Let's rinse that. Rinses out easily. Easy to grip and comfortable. Left side. Cut that sideburn. Rinse. Flip it, neckline. When you shave your neck, two ways you can do it. You can just go straight down like that, or you can shave to the angle of your chin, your jawline, and then you can pick up, shave down like that. Let's rinse it. Mustache. Nice slope to the head, compact, fits directly, easily under the nose. All right, let's rinse. First pass complete, quick rinse. Let's relather for another pass. Grab our bowl and our brush. Plenty of lather. Uh, feels nice and cool going on now. The bulk of the beard has been removed. Shaving cream feels great. Nice thick lather. I like this shaving cream, good stuff. Swipe, swipe. Clear the runways. It's nice and slick, slippery. A nice cushion for the blade to glide across. Let's warm it up again. Okay, the first pass was with the grain, north to south. Now I'll go across the grain, from the ear to the nose. Cleft, rinse, against the grain on the neck, all 
rinse. Cross the mustache. Just placing the tip of the razor under the nose on an angle, cleaning out under the nose, and then lay it flat. Little clean up. Very good. Rinse. Just a quick face rinse. All right, let's lather up the cheeks. We'll go against the grain on the cheeks, get baby smooth. The shaving cream has a bit of a tingle to it. It feels nice and cool. All right, you don't want to scrape, but you want to skim like this. Ride the cap, skim. I like to call it skimming because that's what it feels like to me. You're just skimming along the skin. Beautiful. Rinse that. Hot and cold water rinse of the face. Ooh. Cold water feels extra cold. Very nice. Let's take our Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block, remove the cap, soak it under the cold water, just glide that all over the areas you shaved. Excellent finish to the shave. It's an antiseptic. So it will seal off any small nicks or weepers if you got any. Let that soak into your skin for about 30 seconds, then rinse it off. Set that off to the side. Pat the face dry. All right, we're gonna take it old school today on this aftershave. Aqua Velva Classic Ice Blue, over 100 years old. Remove the cap on that. Of course, this bottle is not over 100 years old, but it's been made for over 100 years. Whoa, has a regulator, but really comes out fast. Take you back to like 1950. I'm sure my dad used to use this. Old Spice, Brute, Aqua Volva, English leather, you know, all those goodies from back in the day. Feels good, nice and cool, refreshing. It does say, Classic ice blue cooling aftershave, firms and tones. All right, let's take a final look at the razor. The Mercure 20B. Oh, by the way, this is the long handle version. There's also a short handle right there. Exact same razor, just about three quarters of an inch shorter in the handle. Everything else is the same, the head, the handle design, the logo on the bottom, everything is the same, except for this one's a little bit longer. Very comfortable shave, easy to grip, feels great in the hand. It's thin, but it doesn't feel too thin. It still feels very comfortable and easy to hang on to, so no issues there. Easy to spin, easy to rinse, and pretty aggressive. On Geo Fat Boy's aggression scale, I'm going to give this razor a 6. Pretty aggressive with the Mercure blade. If you want to crank it up a notch, toss a feather blade in there, you can make it even a little bit more aggressive. I got a very nice shave. I had about three days beard growth, removed it quickly, easily, I'm baby smooth, feels great. Here's some more detail on the razor. The Mercure 20B razor is designed with black anodized aluminum and bright chrome. This safety razor impresses with its elegant appearance. The head of this safety razor is manufactured using the zinc die casting process. With its closed comb and large blade gap, it is gentle to shave with and easy to use. The long handle gives the razor a stylish look and natural feel that makes it comfortable when held. The galvanic coating protects it from corrosion and completes the design. Features the classic Mercure closed comb head, chrome and black knurled handle with a secure grip and feel. Excellent for those who prefer a bit longer handle safety razor. Mercure logo inscribed into the bottom of the handle includes one Mercure Super Platinum blade. Razor is made in sold in Germany. Dimensions? Weight 2.2 ounces or 60 grams, length 4.25 inches, 109 millimeters. Shave Nation item number SN498. I thought the Leah shaving cream was excellent. Lathered up very easily, nice cushion, smelled great, had a little bit of a tingle to it. Excellent shaving cream. I give it a thumbs up for sure. And the Mercure Blade in Czech Republic, I think it's a little less sharp than the previous, the one made in Germany, but not bad. Still got a good shave from it. Like I said, you want to crank it up, 
toss a feather blade in there, right here. Make it more aggressive. Do me a favor before I head out, like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends. I greatly appreciate that. If you want to pick up any of these items, just click down below the video where it says more or show more. You can grab them right there or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.